Good morning and welcome to Positively Milwaukee. Two students in our area are making it easier to share information about cancer and they're lifting the spirits of a child with the disease. Charles Benson tells us how they're doing that through writing. Nadia Greenenwalt and Lincoln Egger have promising futures as authors or maybe reporters. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. We, well, can be, uh, we can't tell you our jobs. <laughs> how, how about we edit that part out because we can't have anybody okay. learn about our jobs. All jokes aside, Nadia's first project was a thought-provoking biography called My Friend Lincoln. I just wanted to know what he was feeling and thinking at that exact moment. You might say this project started before Nadia and Lincoln had even met when he was two and diagnosed with a brain tumor. Lincoln's mom, Kelly, says the cancer relapsed when he was seven. And so your world kind of gets turned upside down once more. But Kelly says treatments and long stays at the hospital were made easier this time around because Lincoln had friends like his classmate and Taekwondo partner, Nadia, who wanted to raise money to help with Lincoln's treatments. Her first idea, was a lemonade stand. I thought bigger. And so she decided that she was going to write a book. Dolores, Nadia's mom, says she talked to Kelly about the idea first. You know, Lincoln was seven, she was eight, and I was kind of like, how is this gonna work? But Nadia prepared plenty of questions for Lincoln, some that others would stray away from. It was like really straightforward. She's like, you know, are you afraid to die? I don't think any adult would ask that question, let alone, a, like, she was, are you afraid to die? And um, his response was, <laughs> nope, I'm afraid of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia made a tough subject more approachable by describing cancer in words kids could understand. And it was amazing to have family members read the book after it was published and say, wow, I didn't realize how much you guys had gone through and that was, that was the story she told. But Nadia and Lincoln weren't done after that first book. They decided to write about other kids fighting cancer too. We wanted to do that to like show other kids what it's like in a different point of view. And they wanted other kids to be the star of a book that was just about them. Not like about their friends or their dog, <laughs> just them. So the kids started a pay it forward method. So Nadia wrote Lincoln's book. So Lincoln went and wrote my friend Mackenzie and Mackenzie with the help of her mom wrote to my friend Jordan and it just kind of continues. And those books have raised a lot of money. 27,000. The money may not be as important as what these stories mean to the kids they're about. It means that a friend is watching over you and making huge impact on stuff that they're doing. And these moms couldn't be prouder. And they're building a bond with the person that the story is being written about. And that truly, those will last a lifetime. Um, sadly, we don't know what that lifetime span is for some of these kids. So if we can just bring a smile to their face for that one, one special day that we're together, then, then success. Oh, that brings a smile to all of our faces. And Nadia was actually honored by People Magazine for her work. She was named one of the top 10 girls changing the world. Congrats to her and Lincoln. They are truly making our community a better place.